Hey guys! Today I'd like to talk a little bit about conceal carry jackets, which are another option for conceal carry aside from traditional holsters. This is the Ladies Acadia Conceal Carry Jacket from Rivers West, and it's a waterproof fleece that has a holster for your gun sewn into the inside. Um, I'm sure there's other companies that make jackets intended for concealed carry like this, but I've only got this one just because I carry on body 99% of the time. Um, I put this jacket in the same type of category as my favorite concealed carry purse. It's not as good as actual on body carry, but I do think it's handy to use in some situations, and it definitely has a solid place in the concealed carry market. Most of the time, I carry my gun inside the waistband of my jeans in roughly the 4 o'clock position, but there are occasional exceptions. Um, sometimes on-body carry is just a pain. Maybe you're wearing a dress or waders or overalls, or maybe you just have to run out the door in a hurry. And for times like those, a jacket or a purse with a dedicated holster pouch can be very useful. One great thing about this particular jacket is that it is 100% waterproof and not just water resistant because it's actually made of three different layers of material. There is a flexible polymer layer sandwiched between two layers of fleece so no water can get through it at all and there's also a water repellent on it so water really does just roll right off as opposed to soaking in at all and that has been my experience with it. I got this jacket last fall, so I've had several months to check it out, and I really do like it a lot. Um, one other thing that's really nice that helps with it being fully waterproof is that the seams are sewn really nice. They're all sewn really well, and there is no seam tape on any of them, and the whole jacket just feels really durable and well made. Um, for warmth, I don't wear this jacket in the dead of winter or when it's really cold. Um, but it has been pretty warm and wind resistant for me, so when I wore it this past fall it was great and I will get it back out to use it in the spring. And the tag that I cut off actually says it's rated for above 40 degrees. And the tag also talks about its H2P waterproof system, which apparently has a 10 year guarantee. Hmm, neat. So, um, as for the jacket itself, it does have two nice big pockets on the outside and they have snaps so you can access them from the top and then these pockets also have pockets right behind them, the traditional pockets for your hands. So you actually have four pockets right here on the outside, side pockets and top pockets. And then on the inside you do just have your conceal carry holster. This is what the jacket looks like on. I did wear it in my Six Spartan video, which I'll link to below if you want to check that out. It is very comfortable, and I think the fit's really flattering. In here is the concealed carry pocket. Right now I've got my MMP Compact in it, and that's the gun I normally carry in this jacket. You do have to undo the Velcro to get to your gun, and then you have to redo the Velcro when you reholster. It is a little awkward to get to because you do have to undo the snaps and then unzip your zipper to get to your gun and then you do have to, as I said, undo your Velcro. But the pocket is in a really nice spot on this jacket. It's right over top of your gun so if there's any bulge people will assume it's just whatever's in your pocket. Here's another close up in case you guys couldn't see it that well. And the back looks like this. It's just a really nice heavy duty fleece. Um, so now I would like to talk a bit about the pros and cons for carrying your gun inside a jacket holster like this. Hopefully this part isn't too boring because we'll just be staring at the jacket, but it's really important to talk about. For pros, first it is very convenient because it is fast and easy to put your pistol into this holster and put on a jacket. So it's really easy to use. Also, it is very concealable because the outside pocket placement here is perfect. It's right over the top of your gun and your holster, so people will assume that any bulge is just whatever's in your pocket. Then there's comfort. 
Comfort is excellent with this jacket. There's none of the discomfort associated with on-body holster options. And lastly, you can carry pretty much any gun in this holster, which is nice, especially if you have a new gun and you haven't bought a holster for it yet. So there's definitely lots of pros. But like most carry methods, this also has several drawbacks to consider. Just like with a concealed carry purse, you can't take this jacket off and leave it anywhere. It always has to be on you so that your gun is in your control and nobody else can get access to it. When I wear this jacket, I don't even take it off in a restaurant to hang it over my chair, or if I'm at someone's house, I don't take it off either. Um, and also with this jacket, ease of access can be a bit of an issue. When I wear it, I do zip it up because I get cold easy, and obviously I'm wearing a jacket so I want to stay warm. So I'm not going to leave it open and freeze because chances are I won't need to draw my gun. But then if I ever do have to draw it in an emergency, I'd have to get inside the zip zipper and then get it out from underneath the Velcro retention strap. So my draw time will be reduced. Um, just like it would be with an ankle holster, which is an on-body carry method. I don't personally ever use the snaps on this jacket, just because if I ever have to draw my gun, I'll have much quicker access by just undoing the zipper. The reason that I compared the reduced draw time to an ankle holster is just because you pretty much always have to make some sort of compromise when you choose any form of concealed carry. Some people sacrifice caliber or capacity so they can easily conceal a small gun, and other people wear a cover garment they don't really want to, perhaps, just so they can conceal their larger gun of choice. And then other people can't even find the perfect holster, so they either sacrifice comfort for concealability or concealability for comfort. So you always have to make some sort of compromise. Ideally not, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> and then something else to think about in terms of jackets and concealed carry. If the weather is cool enough that you can wear a jacket, then that means it's a time of year when concealed carry is the easiest. Many jacket pockets are large enough to carry a gun and give you quick access to it. And any jacket, in my experience, will conceal an on the waistband or an in the waistband holster worn on your body. But if you're going to have a jacket, I think you might as well have one like this with an added holster sewn in. It's especially a great way to carry a backup gun. And I personally just really like this jacket. One of my main criticisms is that this jacket is not made in the USA. I try to buy all USA made products when possible, but they do actually sew in their holster at the Washington production facility, so I was told that you can get either a right or a left handed model. Um, I do also wish that the sleeve length was slightly longer, even though the sleeves do reach my wrists fine. I just like my sleeves to cover my hands a little bit more. Um, the fit is flattering, I love that it's waterproof, and I really like having the holster there right behind this pocket. And I couldn't really ask for anything more in a concealed carry jacket other than extreme warmth for below zero temperatures. Or maybe even camo as a color option for hunting. So I do highly recommend this jacket, especially if you're outside much. If you are interested in this exact jacket, on the Rivers West website you do have to click on general outerwear to get the concealed carry category to show up. But from there you can see that they have, I think, two different concealed carry clothing options for men, a jacket and a vest. And then they have this one concealed jacket for women. And it's right around 140 bucks and comes in red, black, and olive green. And the Rivers West website actually sends you to a different site, which I believe is cascadedirect.net, to purchase it. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.